Hey, what's up guys? Alex here. Thank you for checking this video and welcome to this exciting moment. So the beginner series is reaching its conclusion and you guys want more. You guys want more tutorials, you want more code, you want more advanced examples, you want more candies and chocolate. And I'm like, yeah, sure. Why not? Have you ever heard about Monstroid? Monstroid is basically WordPress on steroids. With this product, you can build easily everything from a single blog page to a gigantic e-commerce to sell your product online. If you don't want to waste time and you're looking for a product that it works out of the box and is really solid, I suggest you to try Monstroid. Click on this video to learn more and access a 10% discount for Monstroid or whatever other theme you decided to purchase from the template monster repository. So what's this old madness about? Well, let me just say that from today, here comes the big announcement. I am officially starting recording tutorial for the new WordPress series for intermediate developers. And the main core topic of this series of tutorial is going to be how to create a premium theme for WordPress from scratch. And if you already followed the previous series, the WordPress 101 for beginner developers, you pretty much know that when I say from scratch, I really mean it. So we're going to start coding file by file, section by section, everything custom made. We're not going to use any pre-made plugin or third party application. We're going to start everything from the ground and we're gonna build an awesome premium theme. But what's a premium theme, really? So we hear this word pretty much everywhere when we talk about advanced or premium WordPress theme. And sometimes people consider this like kind of dark magic or witchcraft, but in the end, it's always the same cool stuff. So when you install a premium or advanced theme on your website, you have right out of the box some advanced customized functionalities in your administration panel that you can't find anywhere else or to activate those specific functionalities you have to buy a plugin or a third-party application to implement in your custom theme in our case we're gonna build a full package that you can just install one click ready to go and boom Tons of options, tons of custom sections in your administration panel to customize heavily the experience of your front end. But here comes the even more cool stuff. Because I decided to create a premium theme, I cannot start as I did for the WordPress 101 series. I cannot start just from scratch and just putting pieces together and, let's, and trying to achieve something like good looking or styling on the go. So ladies and gentlemen, developers and designers, Nerds and geeks, let me introduce you Sunset. Sunset is a beautifully crafted custom theme I created with my usual pixel perfection insanity. With this theme ready to be used, I will be able to show you the entire process that involves the creation of a WordPress theme from its very beginning and the necessary steps to convert a PSD file to a custom WordPress theme. Let's build together this gorgeous premium blog with the addition of some sweet, sweet custom widget, advanced page options, and a built in contact form. Where you can get this file and how much it costs? Well, the answer are here and free. Yes, you heard me right. Like everything I do and I will do, this is completely free and you can download it for free. But before downloading it, I will ask you to do just one little thing that is gonna take you away just a few minutes, but it's gonna make me so happy. So please follow me at this link here in this box, magic box that magically appear, and you will jump right into Gleam where you can follow five simple steps that involves like subscribing to my channel, tweeting, uh, sharing something on your social network, whatever, just really simple steps to access the URL to download the full package. If you already completed a bunch of those steps, like you already subscribed, you're already following me on, on Twitter, the system will recognize automatically that you're already there, so you don't have to repeat those steps and you can access the file as many times as you want, so you can download it basically infinitely amount of time. Inside the package, you will find the PSD file with all the layer organized and named, 
because I hate when someone doesn't name his layers. And you will find two fonts, the two fonts, the two main fonts that we're gonna use in the project and the EPS file, the vector file of the logo. And pretty much with this file, you can do whatever you want. As usual, thank you everyone for the amazing and positive feedback I'm constantly receiving on YouTube. And I can't wait to start this project with you to start this new amazing developing adventure. Well, that was pretty much everything for me. I hope you're excited as I am. And until the next video, happy coding.